Hello, I am SV and I am going to show you how to make simulation of fire and smoke in Cinema 4D and how it render with Redshift. So for Cinema 4D we have plugin Turbulence FD. After installation you can find it inside in the plugins. Open Turbulence FD and create Turbulence FD container. After that Create any object. Apply to this object Turbulence FD emitter tag. Inside Turbulence FD emitter tag, proceed to the channels and apply all channels up to 1. Temperature, density, fuel, and burn. Then proceed to Turbulence FD container. Go to simulation window and apply burn, foil, density and temperature. Then proceed to viewport, preview and inside in the channel apply density. In the rendering window go to smoke shader and inside mapping apply density. After that go to plugins, turbulence FD, simulation window and make choice interactive without any cache. Just start and check what you have. You can render it, uh, you can make simulation of fire and smoke online. You can move the sphere and you will have a fire. So if you like make additional simulation you can proceed to simulation window inside turbulence FD container and you can apply some turbulence, you can apply some vorticity, you can apply some wind. Okay, how it render in Redshift we are proceeding to our lesson and what we have. We have like this simulation. Uh, we have sphere with our, uh, our emitter. We have cube with collider object. And we ha have some disk to receive some uh, reflection and uh, some shading. So we are going to material and this is just normal matte shadow catcher. We apply this material to our disk. How to make a render? Proceed to our render and make a choice for Redshift. What we have inside in Redshift? First of all, check force enable for IPR. Check. Then we are taking this window Okay, and put somewhere, I don't know, maybe in this position. Play. What we have? In present moment we cannot see nothing. First of all you have to create any redshift light. Proceed to redshift, lights and create any light what you like. Today I will use a dome light. Create dome light. Inside dome light for DOM map, download any HDR map, what you have, any HDR map. Inside backplate, download any backplate what you like. Like this. And what next? To receive our fire in the render window, you have to apply volume of any redshift light contribution scale up to maximum. This is very important. So now we can proceed to our uh, material. So we are going to create redshift material volume material. Apply this material for our container. What we have in present moment. 
nothing. Nothing happened because we have to make some settings. So open Redshift volume material. Open edit shader graph. And check what we have inside. We have output volume and we have redshift volume. So inside redshift volume we have basic option and advanced option. First of all proceed to basic option. We have scatter, absorption and emission. So inside in the scatter channel apply turbulence FD density. And we already can see some smoke. Inside emission channel, apply temperature. What we have now, we have like this. So now we will set up a color. For emission channel, use emission remap ramp. Change color for orange, then light yellow, and then dark orange, like this. We have too much fire without any smoke. So if you take this black point and start proceed to forward, Slowly you can see some smoke. Make approximately like this. It depends what fire you will use. If you will do like this, if you change position of these colors, you can find a very good result for you. So if you like, use any other color of fire. You just go here and change for any color what you like, for example, green or blue or violet, it's up to you absolutely. We try to use today like a regional fire color. Okay, what next? Uh, if you like to receive more smoke, you're going to scatter coefficient and increase it. You see, coming more smoke. So I will use approximately three, like this. Also, you can use a tint for coloring your smoke. If you use, for example, blue, all your smoke will be in blue color. Today we will use original color. So uh, also you can use a scatter remap ramp. If you turn and drag black to the forward, your smoke will be more dark. If you drag white for back, your color or your smoke will be more white. We are going to emission and if you increase scale of emission, you will have more temperature of fire. So for our tutorial, we will use one. Going to next page, advanced. Here we have for density remap range and for emission remap range, how it will work. You have new max and if you change something, going to more, two or three, you will have more smoke inside in the render window. So I will use approximately four. I like to receive more smoke. We are going to emission. If you reduce, you have less fire. If you increase, you have more fire. It depends what you need inside in your project. You can play with this. I will use 1.5 like this. As you can see, inside in my smoke, I have some fire. We can little bit reduce, maybe 1.2. We will keep like this. So now going back to basic. What we have? 
we have absorption. We have some ramp ramp. How it will work? If we take this and put somewhere here, our smoke will be more dark, as you can see. If we go in here, our smoke will be white. So I like to receive dark smoke. Maybe, maybe like this, or maybe like this. But I also like to see my fire. So hold counter on your keyboard and push left button of mouse. And if you take this point and put somewhere down, you will have more temperature inside in the fire. Maybe like this, and maybe a little bit down. Also, don't forget, uh, when you increase a color of temperature, your smoke also will receive white color. So I think I will make like this. Okay, uh, now we are going to rendering options. We are going to Redshift and inside Redshift going to GI. If you use primary GI engine and secondary GI engine for brute force, you will have illumination from fire. As you can see, it will be more natural, more temperature and more bright. What next? We are going to basic and for final render, we can use sampling overrides. Inside sampling overrides, go down and check volume. Override samples for volume. Make it maximum. It means your smoke and your fire will be with very, very good quality. Also on my picture, I have some reflection. I have some reflection. So I am going to reflection override and make it to the maximum. After that, we are going to render options and make it full HD. When everything done, just push a render and check and check what we have. Ok, render completed and as you can see we have very beautiful picture with redshift render. So we have some nice temperature of fire, we have very good quality of smoke and that's all. So if you like this tutorial subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching, goodbye everyone.